All right, we are back, strongisland.com. It's the buzz. Yo, Liquid just did his thing, man. Liquid's killing it tonight. I got yeah. it. I was telling you before, I was sitting here and he started that set playing some, <laughs> some hip hop. And then all of a sudden, I don't know how it happened, but I was jamming to a house beat. <laughs> and I don't even know when the transition came. So that's he definitely. That's when a DJ knows what he's doing. You yeah, know he saying? did it. He did it. He got me. <laughs> so we got this, this whole Trayvon Martin, Zimmerman, whole thing that we were talking about. You know, I, I told you I was going to bring it up again. And it's crazy the amount of media that's going going down right now over this case, you know. And me personally, I think the media got everything all fucked up, man. You know, they they they're portraying this kid like if he was 13 years old. Yeah, well, you know what? When the when this first happened, and yeah, the, uh, the media first showed the pictures. They showed a picture of him when I think he was like 11 or 12 years old. And then they showed or, a picture of Zimmerman when he was younger too, and, right? Yeah, and then they showed a, a picture of, of Zimmerman a few years back. When, and and you, you looked and you saw this skinny little you know kid and, and then you saw this big beefy man, guy. Big man, and you're like, yeah. oh my God, you know. And then we find out that the picture is, you know, the, you know, let me tell you something. When a kid grows up from in their teens from 12 to 16, how, how, however old he was, but anyway... By the time this came out, the real picture of him, the kid was, he was pretty, you know, beefy himself. He wasn't no skinny little kid anymore, you know? He definitely did damage to Zimmerman. That, I mean, the pictures prove it, you know, but I, I just don't know, man. They had like that, that million hoodie march in D.C. I know this man wasn't supposed to get arrested, and because of the pressure of the media and the, and the public and, and everything, he ended up going to jail, and then he got bailed out, and then I heard went back in and all kinds of craziness see i, I don't follow up on that case yeah, but you see a lot of shit going on even with they're taking a lot of donations for um, yeah their attorneys and um and they didn't disclose what they were what they were taking in, in they, they probably case. got an attorney that's doing a pro pro bono too and i don't know man but, um, yeah, the, the media did uh, screw up a lot of things um and uh, even with the uh, 911 call, how they edited the uh, the 911 call, yeah, and it made it seem like something that it really wasn't. But uh, yeah, a lot of crazy things, and uh, it, it's it's weird because it's almost like this guy's or has already been convicted from. I'm not saying he's guilty or not guilty, but it's like my opinion might as well just kill him now because he's been done since it first came out. There's yeah, no he, way he's done out of this. He's not going to be able to get no like, good job. I mean, I, I mean he's well, screwed. Yeah, he's, he's, he's done. He's screwed. It's, you you know, know, but, so. but I, got, I got two people yes. on the line right now that know a lot about this case. And apparently they have two different views on what's right in this in this whole thing. And the difference is they know about the case and we don't. Yeah, I don't really know, man. <laughs> I, so. I, I like like I like I said, man, I, I thought one way and I talked to my boy Rain and he had my mind completely changed. And not for nothing, Rain, he's like my brother. I've been following him on Facebook and because of his views, he took a lot of heat on Facebook oh, from, yeah, from sure. friends and people like that we know and all that that got really, really tight about that with him. So, Rain, are you on the line right now? Yeah, I'm here. Okay, tell us what you think. And then we got Kevin Harris on the line also. We're going to hear what he thinks. But first, I want to hear what Rain thinks. I wanna, then I want to hear what your homeboy thinks. And then I want to see if you guys can come to some kind of conclusion with each other on this. So talk to yeah. me, Rain. Talk to me. All right, well, my, my, my whole thing from the beginning has been that, you know, how the media has distorted everything since day one. Like, you, you guys already brought up about how, you know, they showed the younger pictures of him and they were leaving a lot of things out. I mean, when, when the story first hit, um, it was basically a, a white dude shot a, a black kid. That's how, that's how it hit. And, you know, everyone was going crazy and an uproar and they were, you know, real uptight about it. And when, uh, when it came out that Zimmerman was actually Latino. And by the way, no disrespect, Liquid, but uh, you kind of look like Zimmerman a little bit, man. I was looking at you over there. That's what it is. He looked like Zimmerman. Oh, um, but uh, no, that's all that's right. So anyway, so, um, you know, when that came out that, that he was Latino, the, the media really downplayed that a lot because it wouldn't really, you know, any type of minority is said, but any type of minority or minority killing or crime is not really a big deal to, to, to the media. But when it became a racial thing, it, it, it was a big deal. So that that was 
that was one of the things right away that kind of was throwing up flags in my mind. And as more evidence started leaking out in the case, you know, I started, everything just started kind of going into, well, this might have been a self-defense thing, but people were just going nuts with it. You know, this, this, this guy just murdered this kid, and da 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 and, and, and as we're four months down the line already, I think three or four months already, all these other facts have come out as far as what really happened that night. Um, what kind of what kind of kid uh, you know Trayvon Martin was you know like you know questioning his character and 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 George Zimmerman's as well, and um, you know my thing was not to be like okay you know if this dude murdered this kid you know he should get off and he should be free and everything but my whole thing is that nobody actually knows a hundred percent for sure what exactly happened that night you know I mean to me from everything that's been coming out I'm I'm feeling. That regardless of what Zimmerman was told, they said, okay, that, that the, the police recording came out and, and they asked him, uh, they didn't even ask him not to do it. People, are, you know, they're, 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 they're mixing that story up too. What they had said is he said, I'm following him. And they said, well, we don't need you to do that. That's exactly what they said. They didn't say, no, don't do it. Don't follow him. So you can take that however you want. And he did. He, he, either, he either stopped following then or he continued to follow him. Afterwards, there was a confrontation between Martin and him. Now, there seems to be more witness reports that that Martin was the one on top of him beating his ass and and, and you know messing him up on the ground and um, Zimmerman fired while while he was on the bottom and that sounds like the more plausible thing of what happened but people do not really want to hear that they don't really want to pay attention to that they kind of just want to keep focusing on the fact that you know this this young guy got away with shooting this kid da da da, da. you know in the beginning of the case you like we just want an arrest we just want an arrest. But now, after he's been arrested, people are still, you know, every little thing that happens to Zimmerman, they're all happy about. Oh, God is good. God is good. You know, he, he don't, you know, he don't like ugly, da, 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 da. But, you know, God is good all the time. God is good all the time, whether Trayvon got shot or not. You know what I mean? So, I mean, don't, 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 don't throw that in the mix. Well, especially so, the, the pictures, too. Every, when everybody saw those first pictures, those are the images, uh, you know, so you, you automatically said, I said, oh, oh, my God, how could this guy do this to this little kid? You know, but right. we find out later that that he was wasn't so not such a little kid. You know what I'm well, saying? Well, well, not only that, the, the pictures that they they put up of Zimmerman in his jumpsuit from like five, six years ago when he exactly. got locked up for some 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 minor charge that he had a fight with his wife or whatever, mm -hmm. and um, they got a, the picture they show with him is really pale skin. You know, they made it look really white. They they put him in an orange jumpsuit. You know, he looked kind of heavy. You know, a little threatening, and that's how they try to portray him. So those are the images that stick with people to this day. People mm -hmm. that are following the case they only see the little boy with the football and the little arrow past out shirt or whatever he had and and this other you know big guy in the jumpsuit you know so those are the images that they see exactly and it's just been completely tainted by the media and you know my stance still regardless of the outcome of the case is that people need to do more research people need to to, to try to dig into deeper instead of believing everything that they feed you because you, you start eating all that and, you know, it corrupts your mind and it corrupts your boy's mind and then their family's mind. And you got people marching and doing protests and for something that might not even be true. And they, they don't even know what they're marching and protesting for. And that's right. really what it is because they're just going by what the media is doing. And they didn't look into it as much as, like, you and your boy did. And, you know, a million hoodie march in New York, really? That's what we need? A million idiots in hoodies? Like, it's, it's just crazy, man. It's crazy. That's my opinion, my personal opinion. You know, I agree with you 100%. But um, is there anything else you want to say on, on this before I get into No, no, I mean, I, I mean, you know, like, um, let my, my boy Kevin, uh, this, is, this is a guy I work with, and um, he's a really good friend of mine, and, and his views, um, you know, he's very much in the right with the media and what's going on in the media. You know, a lot at work, and, and even sometimes out of work, and we, you know, we, we talk about this a lot. But we have, you know, good good discussions. It's nothing like you know we beefing with each other or anything. You know, yeah. he's strong in his opinion. I'm strong in my opinion. But but you know, we respect each other as men, so yeah. it's never like you know to that next level. But that's how discussions should be. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. So, absolutely. I agree. All right, so cool. So I, I I agree with you on on a lot of topics, and I also uh, stated before how the uh, the nine one one call, how you can how a news organization can actually edit. A 911 call to make it to make it sound like oh I'm chasing him now he's black and leave out the whole question of what they asked him you know is he is you know, shit they're, but it, it was oh, just insane just it, that's why I said they really this all the circumstances from the media the way they put this whole thing out really really um, just really uh, burned an image and and uh, and and the conviction 
in, in, instantly in everybody's minds, you know, even mine. And I, you know, but as I started to get into it, I started to feel like you, you know what? We really don't know what happened. And then all these other things. So it gets got me thinking, you know, I don't know what the hell's going on. But I guess you know, right. let, let's hear from uh, your friend, this Kevin, right? Kevin, 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 you there? You there? Yeah, I'm here, buddy. Okay, right, let's cool. hear. What, let's hear what you have to say on this whole case. We just heard what Rain had to say. Let me know yeah, what you yeah. think about this. Let me know what you yeah. think about the whole situation. Hey, Roland. Roland said a mouthful, and uh, I agree with Roland, and I agree with you guys a lot on how the media sensationalized this thing, bringing out Sharpton in. It's, it's just that whole sensationalized thing shouldn't have happened. But once all the facts start coming out. Um, there's some strong things on both sides of the opinion, but the thing, the one thing that sticks out the most with me is, um, is the devalue of a young black life. You guys are from Strong Island. I know you've seen how the police handle Latinos and black people in your community. Yep. And, and so a lot of, uh, a lot of the vitriol and a lot of the, 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 the anger on the, on the black side is because we've seen this happen so much over and over and over again. And so when you see things like uh, a young black guy, uh, and 17 is young, he's still, he's still in school, um, and the media did play it wrong by playing, uh, you know, putting out young, small pictures of the guy, uh, but he's still a young black guy that wasn't breaking any laws at that moment. Mm -hmm. um, and, and to see uh, a person go through this, all the way through the progression of being, uh, you know, suggested by uh, 911 to not follow a guy and then to follow him all the way around the other building and some kind of altercation happened, it says to me that he started that altercation yeah. and the other gentleman was just defending himself. So when you get to that point, you got, you know, Roman said a mouthful when he said nobody knows. So that's why the guy had to be arrested so that we can get to the facts and figure it out. Now, if Zimmerman comes out innocent in this, I'm one of those guys who's grounded enough to understand if he's innocent, then I, he went through the system, he did his thing, hands up, you know, my hands off. Um, it, it, but if he's convicted, then he should be convicted at you know, the strongest extent of the law. So that's where my thought process is with it. You know what? I, I do agree with you. I, I think, um, I think he, he was tracking this kid, following him. And I think, you know, I think maybe, like you said, maybe this kid, as a, as a young black kid, maybe this wasn't the first time he's being followed, you know? Maybe this happened quite a few times, and he got to a certain point, and he turned around, he says, you know what, I'm going to fucking pop this guy. And he turned around, right. and then it, it just it enveloped into something that was just got out of control, and and he, he got shot. I, I think... That happened, and and it's it's a shame that it happened. It's so sad because it didn't have to happen. Um, well, let me let, 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 let me ask. My biggest, that was one of my biggest points. One of my biggest points is if this gentleman, I know he wasn't told to not follow this guy. He was. It was suggested that you don't follow him. But if he does follow him and allow the police to do their job, then the police would have had a chance to sort it all out and say, well, this guy is supposed to be here and give him a breathalyzer. He's not drunk. Uh, he is, you know, he may be suspended from school. That doesn't mean the guy should die. And if the police had a chance to sort it all out, besides them following him, we wouldn't be in this point. He wouldn't be behind bars. And, uh, you know, you know, Zimmerman, uh, you know, he's done a couple of things that are just out of character that's not going to play well. You know, the lying to the judge, the sitting on uh, the phone with his girl and using the words ten dollars. You got ten dollars, right? But he really means ten thousand. Yeah, yeah. uh, you know, pay everything off while we got all this money. So we, you know, we're out of our bills. And then one of his phone calls that he had from jail, uh, they were talking about how he would get out, uh, you know, without being seen. He said, she said, his wife said, well, won't you lay down in the back of the SUV? And he said, I have my hoodie. And then he laughed, you know, an off-color joke. Yeah, so. Yeah, uh, yeah. And, and so it's something stupid. that you probably shouldn't say if you have remorse, you know. Yeah. Right. Okay. Now, 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 I mean, you brought up you brought up a lot a lot of comments, but but the, the first thing I want to address is, you know, like I'm old school. So for anybody there that's that's you know in their, their early thirties or late thirties or whatever, you know, being a youngster when when you was a kid and you was somewhere that you wasn't supposed to be and you had an adult ask you, not just any adult, and I'm not saying that that uh, Zimmerman was you know a, a police officer or anything, but you know for what it's worth, he was. 
doing what, what, what he felt he should do as far as protecting his community. He was the, 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 the captain of his neighborhood watch or whatever, and he would patrol that. And, you know, there's stories about all the calls that he made the police or whatever. He did the proper thing in, in, as far as legal-wise. He called the police. He saw somebody suspicious. He says on the call, the kid looks like he's, like he's high or he's on some kind of drug. He's starting to walk towards me, and that's where things get, get, get confused. You know, um, secondly, as far as the, 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 um, what was the, what was the last comment that, that you just said, Kev? Or with, 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 uh, about, about his wife telling his wife. Oh, okay, the last, phone call. About the hoodie, yeah, last okay, the, the, the phone call. See, now that there's, there's, there's six tapes that are out right now with these phone calls, and, and it's all conversation between him and his wife. Now, now, what Kevin just portrayed to you sounds like the guy is insensitive and he really doesn't care. But there's other parts in that phone call where he's concerned about an inmate that's next to him. He's like, you know, the guy has no clothes and I'm wondering if I should give him his, my jumpsuit because I know he's really cold. And, he's, and, he, and he sounds real sincere. It's not something he's just saying. Yeah, you know, it, yeah. it's so that there's two sides to, to, to what everybody's hearing. And, you can, yeah. and the people are going to grab onto whatever side supports their theory in yeah. their mind. I, I agree with you. Uh, I he's think trying to gain, he's trying to gain a friend in jail. <laughs> you need one. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he's definitely you know those those codes, stupid, even simple code words, not even very intelligent code words that they were using. Not very smart, you know. Um, I agree with you. I think you know this was this was two bad decisions made by both of them at the at the same time, you know, because uh, you know, like you said. Uh, I think it was Kevin, you know, like he wasn't doing anything wrong. It, in the end, it would have been sorted out. They would have said, they would have found out he does live here. He's not doing anything wrong. And then everybody, everybody would have went on their way. But um, I think Zimmerman made a bad choice of, of keeping the pursuit on. And I think uh, Trayvon made a very bad choice of, of confronting where he should have just walked and just went straight to where he had to go, his dad's house, whatever yeah. it was, and, and uh, it would have been eventually sorted out. But this is two really bad decisions, and a, and a life is lost. And I, and I think regardless, if, first of all, if Zimmerman is, is innocent, there's going to be riots everywhere. And I, yeah. you know, I'm just saying, that's just the way it's going to be. It's crazy. It's going to happen. It's going to be like the whole, no whole way he's yeah, but, be. A lot of, but you know what? But, but that, that, that's definitely a possibility. But yeah. if there's more discussions and more people actually come to light and see exactly more behind this case, things like that can stop. Yeah. You know, when people, because a lot, a lot of, a lot of this stuff is like blind anger where they don't really understand what's going on, but you. they're just upset. Yeah. And but, it's kind of contagious. It's kind of contagious. But reality is, media. I think people are entrenched. They are entrenched in what they believe now. I don't agree yeah. that if more information comes out that people are going to change how they feel. I think everybody's drawing a line in the sand and they're waiting for that. The verdict. Everyone's quiet yeah. there. You don't even hear about it he, because they're waiting for a verdict yeah. either way, and they threw that line in the sand. Shit's gonna pop off, and if he is found innocent, you know, I, but like the only way that would ever even make that even a little bit better of a situation if the media actually helped out in that. But no, the media is gonna make it look as bad as possible because. At the end of the day, it's all about arbitron and, and, and ratings and, and all that. And it's sad to say, but whatever's bad is what we're interested in as a public. You know yeah, but see, even saying, that, even saying that word innocent, you know, innocent of what? He's getting charged with second degree murder. I think yeah. everybody could admit that he didn't murder this kid. It wasn't second degree murder. So that's stupid for them to even charge him with that because, you know, there's just too much going on. It just wasn't an intentional killing. No, and I think everyone on either side could agree that. Yeah. So, I, I, so go ahead, go ahead. I do agree that manslaughter um, would have would have probably been okay for the majority of the people on the Trayvon Martin side, besides his family and the people who are very very close. They just wanted to see something happen. See see everything sorted out. Most people wanted to see everything sorted out in court. That's why the noise has stopped. Uh, the media is still playing things after you know certain things come out. But the noise and the marches and all that stuff has stopped because now the court is sorted out and most sensible people just wanted to see it sorted out in court and just not have he say or she say when and a cop say, nah, everything's fine. He was protecting himself. Yeah. We want to know everything. Yeah. I think my opinion, he's definitely, you know, I don't know whether it can be dropped to manslaughter or whatever it is, but he's definitely got to get convicted of something and he's got to spend a large amount of time in jail yeah. or it's not going to be equal because like you said a young life was lost and they both made 
a bad decision in that night, and unfortunately, they're both going to have to pay a price. Yeah, whether, but whether would, one you, is, would, you, would, would you still feel that way if if it came down to where with Trayvon Martin attacked him and he was getting his ass beat and he was defending himself and shot him? Would you still feel that he needs to go to jail for a long time? If only if I saw if I saw video footage of it. I will believe it. No. Other than that, I, well, I, it's, it's that, right that, now that's nobody knows not what happened. happened. No, exactly. That, that's what happen. I'm saying. Right now, nobody knows what happened. And unless we see yep. a video of the event, he, it, it's, it's it's unjustifiable he to say that he can't get anything and he can just walk away. If he does, no, no, no I'm not saying know. I'm not saying not get I'm not saying not get anything. But what I'm saying is is that it, without video, if there was facts or whatever witnesses, or there's there's a lot of other ways that that this could be portrayed as as. Or, or, or solidify his, his defense that it was um, yeah, but what by by a, a couple more white people it's not going to work it's not going to work uh, you know i don't know you know if you guys noticed this but remember initially when all this happened i guess he he has a uh, had a black friend who came out in support of him do you, do you remember this guy i don't know if he's yeah. still around but uh, he was swearing by, you know, George Zimmerman saying uh, he wouldn't do this. He, uh, I've known him for so long, you know. <laughs> maybe if we had a couple black witnesses, I would say maybe. But uh, no way. A couple white people but come see, this, out. This, it's see, not going to work. But this is what I'm. This is what I'm. This is what I'm talking about. This is this is why you know the things that I guess you, that you haven't read up on him. You know that that he was a mentor to, to a couple of black teenagers in the community. Yeah, I heard you know that, that he brought his, that he, he brought children and you know to try to help them. You know he's he's been um uh he's had he's tried to organize protests against the police department for for brutality on, on homeless people. You yeah. know this isn't a guy that was out there with some racist heart trying to yeah, kill somebody yeah, yeah i didn't yeah. i didn't know that i did, definitely didn't know that but i'm just saying i'm just it just seems like it's already decided you know it's like it seems like it, it's already done he's already convicted it, it, even My though opinion. he's not it pretty much is you know I, I really we, we know, we know he's gonna right do there. some time no matter what he's gonna do some time you know yeah, whether, whether it's a lot or a little we don't know but i i i just think that's what's gonna go down just like I met, like I said, it's a matter of how, how much time he's gonna get for this. Yeah. You know, know, but is there any way that you two could come to some mutual agreement on this case? Well, the, it's not yeah. Like, I mean, if Kevin, if Kevin was just admit that he's wrong, you know, we could both agree. <laughs> and I and I and I think if uh, if Roland if Roland stood on top of the Empire State Building with a megaphone and admitted he was wrong. While his, while his tidy whities I think we can agree. You know what? I, I don't think we're ever going to find out who's right or wrong. But, uh, right. You know, it's, it's cool. You know, we all we understand each other's points, definitely. You know, it's like no matter what side you're on, you understand. Yeah, yeah. But I just think, you know, it, it just the way it all came out, I just it, it came out really in a, in a, in a bad way. And um, I'm not saying he's guilty or not guilty, but I, I, in, in my opinion, he's he's definitely done. It's a wrap. <laughs> Yo, right, thank well, you cool. guys for calling, man. I really appreciate it, man. Shout out to Shine, aka Rain, and Kevin Harris, man. I really, really appreciate you guys calling, man. Hopefully, you guys are logging again next week. Next week, we're going to talk about something else, but I don't know. I don't, I don't know yet. But, Shine, I'll let you uh, know throughout the week what's yeah. going on. And, you know, hopefully, we get Kevin involved, too, man. Yeah, we got to figure out what, yeah. what other, other things you guys argue about, you know? <laughs> we, we, uh, we yeah, right now, right now, nothing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, just, just, you pick the topic and we're here. All right, man. All right. All right. Cool deal. Good. Thanks, man. Thanks for calling, All fellas, right. man. Yo, right. Have a good night, fellas. Be good, man. Be good. All right, cool. All right, cool. So let's uh, let's wrap this show up, man. DJ Cell. Yes. Who didn't DJ tonight. You were a host. Yeah. The whole night a host, man. How did yeah. you feel to host the show? I mean, it's, it's nice, good. man. Yeah, Look who killed good. it. It's actually easy to sit here and watch a DJ do something for you. That's a what I'm saying. You know? <laughs> and you know? <laughs> You're a very Sally charismatic. Sally got jokes. Sally yeah, got man. jokes. This is what we do, man. This is what we do on StrongIsland.com, man. Oh. You know, the Buzz brand new show. We're going we're gonna to keep taking it to different levels at every show. Um, like I said, man, be on the lookout for my brother from another mother, DJ Decoy. Hopefully, we'll get him on this show. Uh, next week, we got the beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Alyssa Brown. If y'all don't know who she is, go on Facebook and search her. She's serious. Man, don't go searching her. <laughs> That's all she needs. Is, is... Hey, you don't even know the shit that Kat's going through right now, bro. I don't, you have no idea. Fellas, please, please, if you're watching, be easy on my girls, man. I go through... For, and, and when I say my girls, let, let me clear it up. 
I'm talking about Solana and Cat. All right, I do a show with them every Monday night from eight to nine thirty. Now, I love these girls; they're family to me, you know. And I do occasionally go up on their Facebook, and I see the shit that y'all be writing, man, and, and it just blows my mind. So, be easy on my girls, man. You know, they're they're just girls trying to have fun. I know they talk about some crazy stuff, but be easy with what you say. They're still women at the end of the day, man. You know, so shout out to Cat Solana. And, uh, oh, we got Chad coming next week. Chad's a beast on the mic, man. He's really good, talented, man. Talented personality, uh, producer, rapper, everything, man. He's just everything, DJ, the whole nine. You know, we got Chad. Uh, I'm not sure about this whole peg star thing. We'll, we'll let you know yeah, about we'll that. We'll see what happens. We'll but uh, this is going to be every week, every Wednesday from 9 to 11. And we also got youngest DJs in charge. Now, let me just repeat this. We got youngest DJs in charge here every Wednesday starting in July, second week of July from 8 to 9. And I'm going to try to change that to 7 to 9. I don't know, me and Unique are going to, me and DJ Unique are going to have to talk about that. But, you know, when I say youngest DJs in charge, for you guys that got that don't know who they are, when I say that, I say DJ Unique. I say DJ Danger. You know, I say DJ Rule, DJ Liquid, DJ E-Rock. Like, I mean, these dudes are heavy hitters. DJ Caress, they're heavy hitters in the club game in Long Island. I work with them, I love them, they're family to me. They will be on here and not on any other internet radio station. Only on strongisland.com starting the second week of July. Because we have we have the best of the best. Yeah. We have the cream of the crop. Yeah. And what we do is we what we do is we skim the cream of the crop <laughs> and we bring it all to strongisland.com. Yes. yes, when there's talent, I'm out there looking. I give I give LA a holler and I'm like, yo, LA, these dudes, they're doing their thing. Let me talk to them. Give me a spot for them. Let me talk to them. And I always get my DJs to come here. Always. Yeah, we doing it, man. Strongisland.com is expanding. And uh, Wednesday nights are gonna be the uh, the next big thing over here. So Yeah. Wednesday nights. And also, just to let y'all know, man, um tomorrow night. I'm going to be at Aquarius in Central Islip with the Girls Rule, Boys Jewel staff. And that means Kat, Solana, DJ Cell, we will be in that building. The beautiful ladies will be bartending. I'm going to be in the mix all night. Not even like that one hour shit that I normally do at these clubs that I go in f from 1 to 2 o'clock and I go home. You're doing the whole night? For, I'm going to be there from 9 o'clock to 4 in the morning. And I'm going to be on the set the whole time. So that's at Aquarius Lounge in Central Islip on Suffolk Avenue. It's a serious venue. My man, shout out to John Gonzalez. He just bought it. Friday night, I don't know if we got anybody from New Jersey in the check-in, but Friday night, I will be in Atlantic City at Providence. Providence, Atlantic City. It's going to be crazy over there. You know, so that's Friday. And then Saturday, Saturday is the grand opening of Surf Club. Now, Surf Club is actually formerly known as Ice and Origin in Farmingdale. Now, for y'all that don't know, I'm sure everybody does know, but for you guys that don't know, that <laughs> venue is ginormous. And I'll be on the set that night with DJ Caress on Saturday night. So we're at the grand opening of Surf Club, located at Kodiak's, formerly known as uh, Origin and Ice. And a couple other names I don't remember, but that's what I'm be. So, yo, tomorrow Aquarius, Friday Atlantic City at Providence, and then Saturday I'm up back in Long Island at Farmingdale at Surf Club Grand Opening located at Kodiak. So. And hopefully Portside, hopefully Portside. One day you never know, man. That, we gotta we gotta talk to them, man. I don't want to step on nobody's toes, but nah, I'm, I'm saying I'm just showing holler. up, just showing up, just showing yeah, up. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go over there, man. I'm gonna go over there. We're gonna chill. We're gonna have a good time. LA, you got anything else to say, man? I just want to say, everybody, check out the magazine, <clears throat> Strong Island Inc. It's on the website. Just go to the top, hit the magazine link on top, and um, check it out. It's 12 pages. We have physical copies, and we have virtual copies online. Uh, become a member, strongisland.com. Follow us, Strong Island NY, on Facebook and Twitter. Follow me personally, 
on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Bobby Lasera, L-A-S-E-R-R-A. See, man, I wish it wasn't so late, because I would go on all night, all night. But LA's got to get some sleep. You know, me and him are getting old. And uh, we'll see y'all next week, man. Who's Crystal in the chat room? I don't know. Crystal, who are you? Oh, is that Miss Cookie's Crystal? I don't know. Cookie's Goddaughter. Hey, I see you. What up, Crystal? (laughs) All right, cool. Crystal, you just missed us. We out. So uh, we'll be back next week. Wednesday night, The Buzz, strongisland.com. We'll see you soon. Liquid, peace, brother. Say goodbye. Peace out, Strong Island. Not bad.